Hello, my name is Brandon Ivey. I am a global power with Shopping Sherlock, and I was just uh, looking at my email and I saw a new article that came out from businessforhome.org talking about the best MLM company. Now, I actually will go on record in stating that there is no such thing as the best MLM company. You show me the worst company out there, and I'll show you somebody making six figures. You show me the best so-called company out there, and I'll show you a bunch of broke people in it. Here, the bottom line is not every company is for everybody. You know, some people are looking for different things. Some people are looking for long-term growth. Others are looking for that get-rich-quick overnight success story. Some people are looking to be able to retire, work three to five years, and live off their residual income, while others are looking for a way to pay off their cell phone bill next week or pay their rent next month. So not everything is for everybody. So the first thing you must do, if you want to find the best MLM company, it should be titled the best MLM company for you. But if that's what you're looking for first, you need to decide what it is that you want. Once you've figured that out, here's some basic things to cover. And I love, uh, I love the book and the author Eric Worre, GoPro. I built a whole training system out of that. But here's some basic five things that you might want to look at when looking at a company. And I'm going to go over this by stating why Shopping Sherlock was the best MLM company for me. Maybe not for you, but for me. One, you want to look at the company ownership. You know, I found that the CEO and or owner is the most important factor in any business. If you have a good one with a good mind and good heart, that will solve almost any problem. A good leader will always find a way to create a great opportunity for you. If you have a bad leader, it doesn't matter how good the product or compensation plan is, they will find a way to mess it up. This is so true. I've been a part of two companies in the past. Great product. Great compensation plan. But the owner, I'm like, do you want to succeed? <laughs> it's like you are purposely screwing up your own company just sit down and get out of the way and let us leaders do what we need to do the CEO of my company Mr. Michael Weeder is a visionary a visionary great leadership and foresight for where this business and our industry is growing number two you look at the product is there a need for the product? Does the company's product meet that need? Is it competitively priced in the marketplace? Is there enough margin so the field and the company can thrive long term? And most of all, do you love it? If you don't love it, you shouldn't do it. Shopping Sherlock, for example. Is there a need for the product? Well, I was just reading an article today Online shopping grows with some growing pains. Everywhere you look, online shopping is now the one of the biggest growing industries on the planet. Is there a need for it? Yes. Does the company's product meet that need? What is Shopping Sherlock's product? It is an online search engine that allows you, just like Google, instead of Googling it, you Sherlock it. You type in our search bar, in our app, whatever it is that you are looking for, and within seconds, it's going to price compare and find the best price for whatever it is that you're looking for. So it doesn't matter from food to shoes to entertainment. If you're looking to buy a product, we're going to guarantee you to find you the best, the cheapest price out there possible. What does that do? It saves you time. Is it competitively priced in the marketplace? Yes, how about this? Our product is free. We don't have to pass out samples. We don't have to convince you to spend $150 for some coffee. It is free. Is there enough margin so the field and the company can thrive long term? Shopping Sherlock pays out 68% to every dollar. 19 month old company which is debt free and growing at over 20% a month in growth. Steady, solid, consistent growth. 
And most of all, do you love it? Me personally, I love it. I'm not a salesman, so I don't like selling products. And since I can give it away for free, I love it. I'm a recruiter. And since everybody shops online, they want to figure out how to make money off of that. They make money. Now, there are some people who do not love it because they're not looking at long term. They're looking at something that can happen immediately. And if the business doesn't grow fast enough for them, they start to despise it. I will suggest that they move on to something else. If you don't love it, you shouldn't do it. How about the financial opportunity? I don't think one comp plan is vastly superior to another. Even though everyone likes to say their plan is best, there are dominant companies with breakaway plans, unilevel plans, binary plans, even forced matrix plans. Today, everyone seems to be a hybrid of all the above. See, if there are people, if there, if other people in the company are enjoying the level of success that you are looking for, if they are, then you should be fine. So I look at Shopping Sherlock, for example. Are there people making money? Absolutely. We have one of the top money earners that's going to make almost a million dollars this year. The company's only been around 19 months. We have a hybrid binary and a unilevel. In fact, the most money you make is off of our unilevel side, not the binary side. We have what's called 20% check matching bonus, where you're going to earn a 20% check match on every single person on your team when you hit global power, the second highest position. 30% when you're a diamond. We have a, a product that we give away for free that's paying out a dollar to a dollar fifty per active user. So what if you gave it to a thousand people? Would you be okay with fifteen hundred dollars a month? This time next year, the Sherlock's going to be worth four dollars per Sherlock. Would you be okay with a thousand customers paying out four thousand dollars a month on something you gave away for free? And best of all, we have equity in the company. There is no other MLM company out there that's going to allow you to own, have part ownership of the company in a trillion dollar industry growing at 20% a year. What about support structure? This is less important for strong leaders who can create their own culture, systems, training, events, and tools. But for the lesser experience, a good solid support system is very important. Are there good tools available? Are there events you can plug into? Is there a good communication platform that will keep you in the loop? If you follow me for some time, you'll know that I don't think your upline is a factor in your long-term success. You should always consider yourself frontline to the company, at least in your mind, and act accordingly. That last part I want to hit on. That is how I built my career. I can care less who my sponsor is. And most of the time I found that my sponsor has gotten in the way of anything that I wanted to do. In fact, nine times out of ten, my sponsor has always gotten in the way. Sponsor is not a factor in your success. I always act like I'm frontline to the company, and I make sure I get to know corporate structure and the owner and develop a relationship with them. So that's first and foremost. And they're also right that it's less important for uh, strong leaders about the company support structure because we create our own. I do that all the time. But when you look at Shopping Sherlock, you have a CEO who understands and listens to the field, great support structure for the field, and then constant contact with the field, can relate to the field, and has put systems and tools in place for the field to use so that we all benefit for the, from the success. Are there events you can plug into? Yes, we're having a huge international convention in Las Vegas, Nevada, February 28th through March 1st. People are flying in all over the world. Timing. Yes, timing is important, but it's not the only factor. On one side, you'll have the stability of mature companies. On the other side, you have the newness and excitement of a new company. I can make a good case for both. Now, every company has problems. You got that right. There is no perfect company. Every company has problems. Challenges and faults, every single one. You won't find a perfect company out there. Some people get frustrated with that. Switch companies and find out that they traded one set of problems for another. I think that is kind of funny. You know, 15 years ago, we didn't have that problem. You only had two choices when you were with the company and you weren't having success. One choice is to quit. And go back to your job. Because nobody was on the internet to find out what the latest, greatest thing was that they could hop onto for 20 bucks. Or 50. Or 100. See, back then, you either quit or you learn skills necessary to become better. That's it. 
You either made it or you went back to a cubicle. Today, what most people do is they blame everybody else for whatever issue or problem they're having. The company's not doing this. My upline didn't do that. I can't market this. I can't, it's not my fault. I'm going to go jump join another company that is the grass seems greener over there. Then they go over there and realize, oh, wait, this company's got problems too. You mean to tell me I still have to work hard? <laughs> so get that out of your mind. There's no such thing as a perfect company. Every single company will have one problem or another. Timing is important, yes and no. The number one money earner in Amway got started five years after Amway got started. And people are still making it happen today. But timing is important as far as really getting positioned. For example, Shopping Sherlock is positioned in a trillion dollar industry growing at 20% a year that nobody has heard of yet. It's growing so fast that UPS and FedEx could not meet the demand of all the online shoppers who made purchases for Christmas this year. Now, if they can't, if they didn't foresee that happening, what do you think the rest of the ignorant public who has no idea that you can actually make money in this industry, but they're spending money online, do you think they know what's going on? Do you think they're positioned yet? No, we are. And this is going to be a household name. And both of you are going to stand on the sideline and watch probably be in four, five, six, seven companies by that time. So with that, I just wanted to give you my own unique view on this article, the best MLM company on the website, businessforhome.org. I feel for me at this time, Shopping Sherlock is the best, and as, since I retired at the age of 36, I will never go back to a job again. And I look forward to the future with this company, Shopping Sherlock, and working with anybody who wants to join us. My name is Brandon Ivey, Global Power with Shopping Sherlock. Bye-bye.